Hi there, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can automate the social sharing process from your WordPress website for free. This is a really good strategy because A it saves you time, B it's free and C it revives your old posts so it allows you to automate the sharing of older posts across various social media profiles and if you are actively building those social media profiles you're going to be able to revive the traffic that goes to these pages. You couldn't use this on any WordPress website that you have and just to give you an example I'm over here on my Twitter profile I'm not that big on Twitter to be perfectly honest but I've decided that I'm going to try to grow and expand my Twitter marketing and one thing that I want to take advantage of is having people come from Twitter to my website. Now I'm not posting new posts every single day, I don't have the time, but there is content that's you know several months old that's still valuable, so by automating the sharing of that content to my Twitter profile and other places I'm going to be able to hopefully leverage on that. So if we come over here to this website, Beers with Adam, this is a plugin that we're going to use. They have a free and a paid version. I just use the free version, it's more than enough. And you can see it's called Revive Old Posts. It's a social media auto post and scheduling uh, plugin and it works fine for me. So let's go into the dashboard. And this is the plug. I've already installed the plugin. It's called Revive Old Posts. And in fact, let me open up the um, installed plugins section in a new tab. And you can see if we scroll down, it's called Revive Old Posts and it's by revive.social. So you can do a search, you can install it and you can activate it. And then in, if we come back here, in order to play around with the settings, you just come here to the left hand side where it appears and you come to Dashboard. Now the first thing that you'll be prompted to do is to connect your social media account. So I connected my Facebook and I connected my Twitter account. Now if you've got multiple Twitter accounts, just make sure that you're logged in to the relevant one before you connect and then it will just ask you to authorise the app and you'll be good to go. Similar deal with Facebook as well. So I've blurred some stuff out because I'm running several different Facebook pages. You cannot share it on Instagram automatically with the free version, that's only in the pro version. So you can see here, Beers with Adam is the actual one that I've got turned on. And if we come down here, let's just come down. I've got my Twitter account down here as well. So if you want to share it automatically to multiple Facebooks and multiple Twitter accounts, then you're going to have to get the pro version, but I don't want to do that. Then we come to our general settings and you only got to do this once. And this is really your call. So I've decided there's going to be a minimum interval of 10 hours between shares and the post that we share has to be at least 30 days old. Now, again, you can change this. The reason is I don't want this um, plugin to just like share posts that I've just shared recently. So 30 days is a good thing. Um, some of these things that are blurred out is because we can only use those with the pro version. So we can ignore those. All of the other settings I leave as is and then hit save. The post format, again, most of it's just the default settings. The post title, 240 characters, include a link. And then if we come down here, I choose this option, create hashtags from tags. So if you've got tags on your posts, then that's definitely the best one to do. If you don't, then you could choose this one, create hashtags from categories or don't with any hashtags, it's up to you. But I know for Facebook, hashtags are important. And again, that's pretty much it. Um, custom schedule, we can't play around with because it's blurred out. And the very, very first time, there'll be a little button up here, which will just say start sharing. You click on it once, and then that is it. And if we come to Twitter and we kind of come down, we can see here, it shared an old post of mine an hour ago. And the great thing is it pulls in the featured image as well. So it just appears nice when it's on Twitter. And we can see 11 hours ago, so there was a 10 hours difference. It decided to reshare this one and I guess revive this particular post. Now, if I were more active on Twitter, then hopefully I'd be able to get you know a, 
a few more people you know liking my stuff but that's just my job to get myself more active on Twitter and to start taking Twitter more seriously but it's called revive old posts it's a great way just to get traffic back to old posts from different social media profiles that you're building out and it's free so it's definitely worth checking out any questions let me know thank you for watching I'll leave the link to the plugin below or you can just check it out manually inside of your WordPress dashboard other than that please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification and I will see you soon take care thank you for watching if you've got any questions or you need more clarification go and watch the video once more over on the right hand side we have some more trainings and reviews so go and watch those as well please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and hit the bell notification other than that ask any questions you've got below and I'll see you soon